Hi, my name is John Doe. I've done 41 commentaries so far, and you know something? I sort of enjoy this. So come and spend some time with me as I tuck into A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Child, Part 5. The year is 1989. <laughs> A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Child, directed by Stephen Haw Hawkins. Hopkins. Apologies, guys. It's a lot to read out. So, if you're interested in syncing up with me, please set your time stamp to zero. Film on pause, subtitles on. I'll give you a countdown in five. Just give me a second. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Hit play. Apologies for that opening, guys. Got a little bit tongue tied. It's a lot to read out. But, you know, I want to make it somewhat professional. Even for a train wreck of a movie, as Elm Street Part 5 is. Oh, good God. Blue on Black, New Line Cinema. we got to churn out another one. Quick, Robert Shays, we got to churn one of these out every fucking year. Stephen Hopkins film. Robert England in... The cash cow that is a nightmare on our street, yeah. Cool, I like that. That's pretty neat. Nice opening. Oh, the dream child, the child. So, relatively decent opening here. Is that flesh? Two people going at it. What is happening? Somebody about to give birth. So, one saving grace. Old Lisa Wilcox is back. So, I'm on board with that. I think she's quite good in this franchise. A la 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 boy. The child's coming in. Yes, on horseback. Oh, good God. It's train wreck time, people. Strap yourself in. The, 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 the train's about to get de fucking railed. Great. Opening this. Oh, the, mu the music's bu 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 bubbling. It's tingling. So, what to make of this opening? It's all bathed in blue. Flesh. Not a lot happening here, guys. I really can't tell what's going on, to be honest. Two editors. Oh, that's a recipe for fucking disaster. They couldn't make their mind up on which shot to go for. Yeah, beautiful. No, we're now straight. So just to note, guys, I'm obviously on part five. Please check out the archives because I'm going through the entire franchise. Um, I'm a huge fan of the original. I think the original is an absolute masterpiece. Part three is a whole lot of fun. Very strong. And to be honest, i got a lot of time for part two. I think it's quite, quite a daring movie that's not that well executed executed but i do admire it for its uh sort of yeah daringness you know so I'll give it a pass there and then part four part four is decent it's not awful so part five there's alice she's just had some fucking sex great so these visuals are a little bit weak. Swishing on the light. Oh, some shower action, as you do. It's a feet, plug hole, yeah. Dripping water, there's Alice. Giving herself a good fucking scrub. Oh, Roman pervy POV. Is that Alice or a body double? Who fucking cares? It's just naked flesh. Oh, some fucking pervs moving in. Once have it. Oh. Bubbling water. 
Oh, it's got to be Freddy, isn't it? Yeah, Freddy's taking a fucking shit in the fucking shower. Oh, don't put your hand down there, love, you silly cow. Look, you're in part four. Can't you read the warning signs? It must be a dream. Hmm. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah. It's Frederick Von Kruger, baby. Dabbling in some more foreplay, as you do. Oh, yeah, Freddy. He's just completely obliterating the shower. Oh, is she going to drown? Surely not. You can't kill off the only important remaining character in the entire franchise. Please do not do this. Oh, she's fucking drowning. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. So, this is okay. Boiler room. Nice transition there. Very nice interior. This is more like it. This is more my thing. Corridors, naked flesh, atmospheric lighting. Sign me up. Oh. Sounds, it sounds like some... Dodgy ward. So what's about to go down, Alice? Oh, shit. Something's going down in the distance. I can see shadows. Is it lingering men? Oh, it's the nun. Is it Freddy's fucking mum? Yeah. It's the asylum. Oh, there's, is that Robert Shea? Cameo? I really can't tell. Oh, yeah, hundred, a thousand fucking maniacs. Oh, uh, Freddy was conceived with, like, dodgy fucking sperm. Oh, there's Robert England, beautiful. Robert England, I'm a fucking lunatic. Very nice. So this is all okay, I don't mind this. As to the uh, law, Freddy law. Yeah, I really believe, I feel like long term, there's still, oh yeah, okay, Amanda Kruger, yeah, we get it. Yeah, I do feel like long term, there's still a lot of life in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. But I'm I'm thinking more from the aspect of Freddy's like earlier life, you know, before he become the... Supernatural monster. Hey, Robert England, beautiful clothes. So it's so cool to see him out of makeup. It's just a oh yeah, oh it's molesting time. Ah, yeah, Robert England. He's so strong as an actor. Very charismatic, intense. Yeah. Oh, hello, Robert. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, he's having a good... Oh, he's fucked off. So, so far, this is okay. I've probably only ever seen this film like a handful of times. I remember it not being great. But what I will say so far, about 10 minutes in, it's okay. It's pretty good so far. Come on, Alice. You know the deal, love. You just got to ascertain. You got to know when you're awake, when you're dreaming. You know, it's difficult. Because Freddy's a sly old cat. He can blur the lines really well. Oh, it's graduation day with this fucking dickhead. You got dickhead glasses on, yeah. Oh, God, so... Oh, look at this train wreck of a woman. Alright, so we've already got annoying fucking new characters. Great. Dan, keeping you up. Oh, yeah. Great dialogue. Stop fucking talking and just film, film, build atmosphere. Do you know what I hate about 
when you get into like sequels and they try to do like clever character dialogue it's fucking terrible because the characters are so fucking one dimensional oh yeah we give him let make him like get him saying like big fucking words it don't mean shit you know because you haven't done your homework you don't yeah you don't know like proper character development you know Character development takes time and it's not just down to what people are saying. You know, you can have like action as exposition. Oh, yeah. Time for your picture, you fucking prack. You prack. Greta. Greta fucking Garbo. Your nasty fucking mother. She looks like a fucking man. Come on, just want this film Alice centric only. I quite happily watch Freddy kill off all of her fucking friends. Oh yeah, is this dickhead Dan? Actually, I'm being a little bit. I'm doing this guy a bit of a uh, disservice. If I recall right, he was in part four. But. All right, so two bearable characters. That's a little bit harsh on Alice. I actually really enjoy Alice, you know. Is it all uh, Lisa Wilcox? What's really wrong, mate? Is you fucking talking to me? That's what's wrong. So early criticisms, guys. Way too much dialogue. A lot of this dialogue is completely unnecessary. Come on, it's a horror film. You should be building atmosphere. I'm not saying like atmosphere needs to be sustained throughout, but this is a really bland, generic dialogue sequence, you know? Nothing's going on with the character. There's no music. It's just people fucking talking. Boring. Yeah, if you think, all right, we're 12 minutes in. Where are we at with, like, the first Nightmare on Elm Street in terms of, like, scares? You've got the sensational opening sequence in the boiler room. Tina and Freddy... You've got great interactions, early doors. You've also got Tina, Nancy, Rod and Glenn. Sort of like giving you a little indication that they're like sort of collectively having issues, sleeping, it's potential dark figure in their dreams. And that's like within the first 10 minutes. Yeah, you just see the difference between films and quality, you know. Christ, a sequence. I mean, the fact that I'm talking about something else right now, this sequence is still ongoing. Fucking hell. Absolutely fucking pointless sequence. Oh, what? Oh, am I supposed to be fully invested in the characters now? So when they reach the Mines of Moria, I'm all in. I sometimes feel like that's a, a new staple in cinema. And I, you know, me talking like, obviously going on a like um, about character development. If you want to know how it's done properly, yeah, just watch the first Lord of the Rings film. That's how you do character development, you know? Right, some isolation. I need some scares, I need some atmosphere. Nothing is happening right now. Oh, sorry, I'm swinging on a swing. Right, come on. Just draw a bit a lot. The old door, five, six. We need to pick up the pace. The film's very fucking slow. Seven, eight. It's a skipping rope. Yes, it's a bit better. Oh, ha, ha, ha. 
it's always interesting to see like the uh, visual variation on how they depict like the skipping rope action with like the children in these films you know I mean this already feels visually tonally different from the other four and that's not to say it's better actually to be honest this feels inferior already yeah. yes we know he never goes away he's omnipresent right Let's get some full-on surrealism dreamscape action, please. So, interesting camera move. What's the reveal? So, it's the nun again. It's Amanda Kroger running off. Gothic fucking looking castle. Fuck me, goggles. It's a gothic. Cathedral. Oh, very nice. So I don't have a problem with any of this. You know, if you're going to com commit to like some far fetched, like visual locale, this is cool, kind of cool. So they're sort of combining elements. I mean, this is technically supposed to be the asylum, in it? Where Amanda Kruger was set upon. So what's the deal? Because in the title, it says this film's about a dream child. Great. Oh. Oh, we got ourselves a pram. Is the child in the pram? Pram's fucking off. Come on, Alice. Don't follow the pram. It looks fucking ropey as hell. So, empty pram. Alice is more concerned about the nun. So I can hear footsteps. I'm locking into the sound design here. Oh, yeah, that's a bit shit. So... Ah, I'm calling it. Um, is Alice... Are they interlinking Alice with Amanda Kruger? So she's experiencing what she went through. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Mm. Where's Robert England? Oh, they want to strap her down. Oh, so Amanda's out of the... Uh, okay, so it's somebody else. Mm. There's a big elaborate mystery to be solved, Alice. I'm going to have to plop it out the other way, love. Keep breathing. Push. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's plopped it out. Oh, is this the dream child? It's got a mangled fucking face. It's a fucking... Ab it's an abomination, love. Let's have a look at his face. It's got 15 fucking tentacles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got some mangled fucking child bombing about. So what's Alice? The door keeps flipping open, close. Right, it's now empty. Oh, what's going on here? So, okay, so it's the church. Mm, nice visual. It's a low lighting, pretty cool. If this is a set, which you assume it to be. So this is obviously the uh, 
Oh, it's the dream child. Oh, how fucking terrifying. Oh, the dream child. He's getting very big. Oh, no. I'm the dream child. Ah. Oh. What the fuck is going on? Oh, the set's falling apart. Beautiful. Oh, the dream child. He don't like any religious symbolism, does he? Oh, there's Freddy's sweater. Jesus. We got vines. We got Freddy's sweater. What the fuck is going on here? It's a big fucking tree. Great. So roots and branches moving upwards. Oh, it must. It has to be Freddy, isn't it? Is it Freddy reformed? So, is this just Freddy reforming? Is that the whole deal with this sequence? Here he is. Silhouetted. Oh, maybe not. Alright, Freddy's taking a tumble. Lots of random events happening right now. I can't make head nor tail what the fuck's going on. So the deal with the kid, was that Freddy's conception? I'm completely fucking confused. Oh, here he is. So, come on, here we go. Here's Robert England, chopper and N. So what's the deal, Freddy? It's part five, baby. There he is. Silhouette is suited in a fucking booted. Putting the hat on. I'm... It's a boy. Well, that's not a cliched fucking one-liner, is it, Mr. Kruger? I always come back. I'm all about the fucking paycheck. Oh, you slippery old Frederick Kruger. Oh, it's just... He's just literally become the uh, catch catchphrase king, isn't it? Uh, it's mummy and son going at it. Oh, it's such a waste, man, what they've done to Freddy Krueger. Fuck me. It's not even remotely scary now. It's like a fucking cartoon character. So, really... So, got to release the nun from the tower. Freddy's like, you're never... F now we're in the diner, as you do. It's not great, guys, is it? Oh, what can we do? You know, Robert Shea was churning out one of these every fucking year. That's just not the best way of... Um, producing a movie you need time you've got to develop the screenplay you've got to get the like the concepts and the ideas on point but i think new line at this point they realized they had a a juggernaut of a franchise so they weren't concerned with like you know releasing one every year because they knew it'd make money you know the audience was already in place and uh, I recall right there's a big um, swimming pool sequence in this film isn't there it's quite a cool uh, death sequence I think involving this chick yeah as you do It's a big fucking social gathering by the pool. They're having a pool party. Don't care about any of these fucking characters, you know? Yeah, have another bottle of bud. Remove whatever fucking brain cells you got remaining, you bitch. Do 
Just because you give characters a lot of fucking dialogue doesn't mean they're fucking intelligent. It's fucking garbage, man. So that guy sketching... I'm getting confused now about films. Isn't there a big, like, animation... Basically, it's a rift on a... Take on me! Aha, isn't it? The Aha music video. It's a complete rift on that, isn't it? For one of the kills. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. That was part of the problem with... Uh, the Elm Street franchise once you got to like part 5 and 6 they were more concerned about referencing other prominent things within the 1980s you know yeah because don't you get at one point I, I don't know if it's this film or the next where Freddy's playing a fucking video game isn't he it's like what the fuck man Freddy's strong enough to do his own thing he doesn't need to be referencing shit within popular culture at that point in the 80s or the early 90s. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, as I said, they just... This is what happens when there's, like, zero involvement from Wes Craven. You lose concept of what, like, the original idea was supposed to be about, you know? I am literally not paying attention to this film right now. Alright, finally. Let's just have a random fucking car chase for the hell of it, yeah? Da, uh, 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 uh. It's Night Rider. Uh, uh, I'm David fucking Hasselhoff. Uh, 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 uh. Kit Kat's talking to me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, great. Oh, so he's clearly dreaming... Just give me a kill sequence. I'll take it. I'll take anything right now. Oh, Freddy. It's it's Freddy fucking FM, baby. Your favourite fucking late night channel. Oh, Freddy's strapping in. in. Oh, yeah. car spinning. Oh, shit, baby. It's a fucking train wreck. Oh, pedal to the metal. Oh, yeah. Go on, kill his ass, Freddy. Fuck him up, baby. Go on, Freddy. Fuck him up, son. Oh. Time to... Oh, Freddy. Oh, he's getting fucking wasted. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, great fucking whiskey, boy. Bad, bad year, dickhead, Dan. Oh, yeah. Freddy's just smothering himself in alcohol. Yeah, Mr. Kruger. Tearing his arm off. Oh, beautiful, son. He's a one-armed bandit. Buckle up, you dickhead. Yeah, kill his ass, Freddy. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, very nice transition. So that was pretty neat. It went from, like, the open highway straight into the swimming pool. Very, very cool. So that was a little bit better, you know. One thing I will say, I mean, how can you say the film's ever terrible when Robert England's on screen, you know? He's highly watchable, however comic the the lines may be, you know? Oh, yeah, Dan. He's on his motorbike. Oh, he's done for. High speed pursuit. Yeah, Freddy's got him. He's oh, he's becoming one with the bike. Oh, he's submerging. He's a fucking bike. Oh yeah, Freddy. Freddy's wiring in it. Oh, getting a bit high, mate. Oh yeah, Freddy's gone full fucking Terminator. It's Robot Freddy. What the fuck, man? Oh, this is kind of cool, I guess. It's creative, you know? Yeah. A full inhale, some James Cameron Terminator action. 
Oh, great. Look at this. Oh, yeah. He's a fucking cyborg. What the fuck? Great. Too many catchphrases. Fuck me. Right. We have to assume he's dead. We can only hope, eh? What the fuck? I was just about to say, I thought that sh I thought that, sh that shot looked a little bit weird. Oh, so Alice can see the big crash. It's right outside the diner. How convenient. Big fire. Big explosion. Come on, Alice. You can't be... Oh, it's Freddy. Oh, no, it's not Freddy. It's a... It's some... It is fucking Freddy. Look at him. It's some other guy. Yo, Danny. He's, he's cooked. He's fucking flame fucking grilled. Hi, Alice. I'm all flame grilled. Ha ha ha. Oh, Alice has fainted. Great. Fuck me. So, Dan, I mean, can we regard him as a key character? Not really, eh? He's dead. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. The film's just very fucking scatty, isn't it? It's got no real, like, identity or sustained atmosphere. It's just all of these, like, sporadic moments. It's just what happens, New Line, when you rush the shit out. It's just, it's undeveloped, you know? So, as I said, Alice is, you know, she's just, she's one of the stronger characters in the franchise. So, she's doing her best here. She's working with what she's got. But, you know, you know, when you, once you're starring in part five, you're up against it as an actor, you know. And you can kind of see it as well in, like, a lot of these performances. I think they realise that they're in a a lower grade version of Elm Street, you know. So you just gotta just go with it. You're getting paid, it's a job. It's certainly not changing cinema in any way, you know. Oh, is he who's the guy in the fucking coat? Is he the fucking detective? It's a John Saxon replacement. Great. I don't know what I would do with this. If if I was directing this movie, I'd be like, oh, for fuck, what the, what's the fucking scripts? Where's the next fucking scene? Oh, my God, there's a flying fucking nun. Oh, yeah. Because it's not... As I said, the way they're depicting Freddy, it's all kinds of wrong. He's not even scary, you know, you can't, it'd be very difficult to redeem that quality they had from the first film. Ah, am I right? Is this the dream child? It's Jacob. So this young actor, half decent, I'm hoping, and I feel like this is where the film's going to pick up a little bit. Oh. And the dream child, and it's all seeing eye. So what's the deal with the dream child? Does he know something about... Uh, Dispelling Freddy's evil. 
forever? I don't know. Oh, lots of dolls, as you do. Who in the fucking mind collects dolls? I mean, you've got to be like... Either you're not aware of, like, horror cinema, so you just see them as, like, these... You're just a collector, aren't you? Because they kind of look cool, but... Yeah, if you've seen horror films, you certainly ain't going to start collecting fucking dolls, are you? You know? Yeah, fucking look at this doll. Anybody interested, guys? I've done a commentary for dolls. I think it's 1987. Yeah, highly amusing film. If you're into that movie... um, it holds up fairly well. It's a pretty fun commentary. So if you're interested, yeah, check that one out. I may do a Puppet Master at some point. You can tell this film's not working right now. So I talk about other things I've done in, in, in on my fucking YouTube channel. Uh, so Amanda Kruger, Religious Order, Law... Raped by lunatics. We know this. Baby grew up. Frederick Kruger. Yes, we know Freddy did a lot of murdering. It wasn't just murdering. Lots of molesting as well. Freddy liked to treat himself. Freddy was always about buttering the bread on both sides, you know. Yeah, he keeps on killing. We know, love, you're in part five, you stupid cow. So he uses my dreams to bring him his victims. Yeah. The child. Yeah. God, the acting's pretty ropey, baby. Alice is just staring at the three of them, thinking, fuck me, is this this is what I've got to work with? Yeah, this guy who's sketching, yeah, the... Take on me! Sequence is coming up later. I'll have a lot of fun with that guy's commentating. I'll just... I'll fucking derail. Oh, yeah. Are you going to put up a fucking barricade, love? Freddy's going to go right through your annoying fucking face, you bitch. Oh, Alice is getting a bit teary. I don't like her father at all. I just don't think he's... um, I don't know, is he not used enough? Or he's just really not that interesting as a character. And I don't feel this relationship. You know, this is like... Going back to the first film, obviously you had... um, John Saxon and Heather Langenkamp. That really felt like a father-daughter relationship. This, what I'm looking at here, done at all. It's just two fucking random strangers talking to each other, you know? And that's not down to uh, Alice. I think it's more him. Yeah, he just doesn't seem very... Yeah, he doesn't feel very close. Oh. Oh, isn't it Chef Freddy? Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. It's High Flyers Club. Fucking hell. Rich ass folk about to have dinner. Look at this woman's ginger fucking hair. What the fuck? Yeah, who's the waiter then? I can't wait to see. Bon appetit. Oh, look, look at the little bow tie. 
Red and green. Oh, yeah, Freddy. Yeah, you can tell it's Robert England. So I'm actually enjoying this, these little moments where we get to see Robert England out of makeup. Here he is, look. Oh, oh not hungry. Oh, as the camera roams over the table. Oh, she's dreaming. Uh, it's all become very surreal. You must eat your fucking starter. Oh, Freddy's not going to like this. Madam, I've got to serve you up a sample. Freshly bon appetit, you stupid twat. Oh, yeah, it's a porcelain doll special. Oh, yeah. Oh, stuck it in your gob. Uh, it's pretty grim. Oh, yeah, third fucking out her face. Um, Oh, she's having a mouthful with Freddy. Oh, yeah, fat bitch. Oh, he loves it. He loves the foreplay, doesn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, child. Your face is about to explode. So that's pretty cool. So she's choking in real life. Why the fuck are they all laughing? Okay. So basically, it's just... Uh, so Alice is now going to see this. What? Got some animation... A fridge objects. Great. Oh, yeah. Look at her face. About to explode. This is fuck. Yeah, Dad's fucking useless. Oh, it's Freddy. Die, bitch. Yeah, she's choking and none of them fucking care. They're all so rich. Greta's dead. Thank God for that. Redundant fucking character. As always, you reopen the fridge and it's back to normal. Yeah, not stealing ideas from fucking Ghostbusters, eh? Hey. Oh, this is just a, a by-the-numbers horror sequel, isn't it, guys? It's not good at all. It's not terrible, but it it's just it's a 5 out of 10, isn't it? Oh, man. Greta's dead. Just move on. Who's fucking next to die? It's going to be too late. By the time they perceive what it is, it's going to be their their death sequence where they, the, the, the realisation will kick in, then it's too late, isn't it? You know? Why don't you fucking die, you bitch? Look at her fucking red hat. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, mate. Eh? Yeah, characters are talking way too much for me. I really don't like the way this is shot, either. Oh, this is just fucking garbage. Got, like, a two-shot. You can't really side on... Yeah, this is coming into shot. Whatever. I need to die. Yeah, so she dies in the pole. He dies in the animation. That's what I remember. Spoiler alert. 
Oh, here we go. So we got all of his sketches. So sketch artist, very nice. Quite a talented one by the looks of it. So he's clearly been sketching images of Freddy. So visually, that's a pretty cool tie-in. I don't mind that. Oh, who's on the TV? Yeah. So is he also visualising maybe himself as like a, I don't know, a superhero? So this is a pretty cool interior for this character. I kind of feel like maybe we needed this sequence a little bit earlier for this character, you know? Don't just... You know, at the start of the film, it was obviously it was the graduation, wasn't it? So that was like the introduction. I would have gone about it in a different way. I'd have had, oh, it's the house. Yeah, here we are, animation time. It's take on me, take on me, take Freddy on. I'll be gone. Yeah, Freddy's a big fan of uh, AHA, isn't he? That's his favourite group from the 1980s. Fred, Freddy's like, AHA, my favourite band of all time. Yeah, because if, if this film's 1989, um, Take On Me by AHA, I'm just thinking of release date, or off the top of my head, is it like 1985-ish, I guess? Massive music video from the 1980s, really cool, visually. Yeah, it's definitely like one of the most memorable MTV music videos for me. So, what can Alice see, if anything? She can hear screaming. Oh, there's a gaping hole. Oh, so he's hanging on at the moment. Doesn't he just end up falling inside the animation? Oh, yeah, grab my hand. Oh, it's a bit breezy. Oh. Oh. Get out. Don't split off. She's just fucking ran off. Why are they, Why is there such a gap between them? Look. Oh, his hands are shredded. Oh, he's passed out. He's gone. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Oh, here's the child then. So is this the fucking dream child? Hello, little one. Can we get some character development? What is your purpose in part five? Please speak up. Dream child, can you save this fucking movie? He's feeling all right. He's trying to figure out... Where's the dialogue to? Jacob. Just waiting for a screenwriter, a rewrite. That's what he's waiting for, isn't he? So this young actor, he's not... He's certainly not awful. He's fine, you know? Also, guys, I would have int introduced this element a lot sooner. I mean, it's in the fucking title, isn't it? Dream child, you know? If you're going to put that in the fucking child, uh, in, the chi in the title, yeah, you need to commit to it a lot earlier, you know? So the interior of this house is pretty cool. It's well lit. Very nice. So she's back in the animation sketching studio. So he's not... Alright, he's not dead just yet.
It's doing something to my baby. It's her baby. Baby. Have I lost the fucking plot, guys? When did she give birth? Uh, I mean, it technically happened in the surreal dream sequence. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's a bit of confusion because you've got like we're perceiving Freddy's birth from Amanda Kruger, got all the asylum. Then you've got this element with Alice, the dream child. Who, who, what, when, where, who's who? I'm getting a little bit crazy watching this film. Do ah right okay revelation I think I'm with you now do unborn babies dream so she's pregnant so she's interacting with her unborn child within Freddy's fucking playground is that what's going on To unborn babies dream. That's a really cool um, idea. I would pretty much say with confidence, no. Because my argument with that, something like that, I mean, a question you could ask anybody, what's your earliest memory of childhood? I mean, the earliest thing I can fucking recall is maybe when I was like five, you know? So, yeah, really dis difficult to prove, you know, unborn children dreaming. Yeah, there's no way of no knowing, to be honest. Oh, oh, it's not a Aussie oh, child. Freddy's fucking up the airwaves. Scrambled eggs, Freddy, baby. Yeah, Freddy's like, yeah, let me fuck up your child. Nexus 101, scrambled eggs, static. So she's got loads of static all over her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, state of the art special effects. So, sliding inside. Oh, it's gone all very 2001 here. Yeah. Oh, Kubrick could be proud of this sequence, wouldn't he? You know? Oh, a sequence. This, this could rival 2001, can it? Look. Look at these visuals, man. Wow. It's the child spinning beside planet Earth. So is the child going to say anything? Sweet dreams, Alice. You dumb twat. Oh, it's Freddy. Look. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Freddy. Yeah, so Freddy. Oh, this is a ropey sequence. So Freddy's already getting his claws into Alice's unborn. I guess it's it's Freddy trying to like I don't know weaponize the kid, use it for his own I don't know warped fucking fantasies long term. So we still got a couple of characters to kill off here. Coming up to about an hour. Hmm. I don't feel restless right now. I think um, it's all it's it's all watchable, isn't it? You know, I think if you're a fan of the series, I think you can stomach a lot of this because I think we've got to the point now where 
obviously and this was a similar thing in the friday the 13th series where the star of the show really is the the monster you know like freddy or jason so yeah at this point it's all about the kills isn't it how creative they can get with the kills the storyline don't really fucking matter anymore you know freddy's a star yeah, I saw a real shift in horror, sort of mid to late 80s, where audiences started to root more for the the villain slash monster, didn't they? And I kind of get that, you know? Yeah, watching a horror movie is a good vehicle for, like, venting, getting things off your mind, you know? Having a laugh, a few screams, a few scares. Yeah, I sometimes see it as a, like, small therapy watching a horror movie, you know? I always feel a lot calmer once I've come out of, like, watching a good horror movie, you know? I feel like I've resolved a few things. So in that respect, yeah, I do consider it to be a very, very important genre. Underrated genre. Uh, underappreciated genre, you know? So Kruger's using Jacob's dreams. One way for you, mate. Take on me. Oh, abortion. Oh, you can't do that. No, you can't. Abortions are bad in 2022. Can't do that. It's not for Alice to decide. The state must decide, eh? Yeah. Women's rights? Well, no. Just going off tangent, guys. It's a woman's fucking choice what she does with her uh, unborn child. You know? Yeah. Well, the reality I live in right now is fucking all over the place. So, Mr. Jordan, who the fuck are you, mate? I saw you briefly in the fucking hospital. Or is he a fucking, is he a psych, a detective? So he's going to keep the kid beautiful. I think that'll make for a better film if she keeps the child. Oh, yeah. Get some foster parents in, eh? You can't manage the kid. A little bit quick to uh, presume, isn't it? There are a lot of single mums out there that are more than capable of raising a kid by themselves, you know? Yeah, Alice, she's made of strong stuff. He's our grandchild. Oh, is this chick's putting on the waterworks? You don't have the ability, love, to keep your shit together. Waterworks central, look. He's about to get a bit teary-eyed with his grey hair. Just for men, eh? Hey? Oh, again, this is all a lot of needless dialogue. <sighs> oh, we're we gonna get some courtroom action. Can Freddy be the fucking judge, please? He's in my fucking belly having sweet dreams. I feel like I need another death sequence. Come on. Let's kill off animation guy or the swimming pool woman. Either of them will do. Mark, is that your name? I will refer to you as Mark moving forward. You're so important. So 
So there is, is it's, you could say it's a bit of a deep dive into the uh, law in part five. But is it any good, you know? I don't know. Definitely focus a lot more on uh, Amanda Kruger, I guess. Easy fucking bookworm. Christian mythology. So what is the fucking chapter number? Great. Revelations, eh? Trapped in its earthly resting place. You must lay the child to rest. So is it finding the point within the asylum where she died to? I don't know. Oh, it's the classic, oh, I'm about to go to sleep. Keep an eye on me sequence. Well, we know what happens here, guys, don't we? He's going to go full Johnny Depp. He's going to fall asleep. Here we go. Swimming pool time. Oh, she's a bit sleepy. Don't want to be jumping in the pool, love. Yeah. Let's kill, kill this fucking bitch off. Yeah. Bit of, it's a one-on-one -on -one pool action with Frederick Kruger. It's time to heat up the swimming pool, Freddy. Let's, let's do it, son. Let's be having ya. Oh, it's a little private fucking... What is she in? The, I don't know, jacuzzi area, I guess. Let's get hot. She's just... Okay, so it must be Alice. Yeah, so Alice is back here. So I don't mind this set at all. Oh, this is... Alright, he's going to fall asleep. So we're probably going to get a double kill here. Oh, so is he still awake? Yeah, he's going to nod off. So a bit of intercutting right now. A staircase that goes nowhere, but it looks good visually. All bathed in yellow. Yeah, nice. There's no exit. It's a surrealist landscape, love. You've got to use your imagination. Oh, here comes Freddy. Isn't it something... Oh, there's the claw. Doesn't he do something with... Oh, I can't remember this kill. I can't quite remember what he does here. So she's going up the ladder. Great. So she's going to dive off. It's obviously going to go horribly wrong. It's really concrete, love. It's not water. Oh, shit. Diving board. It's cracking. Oh, she's going to take a tumble. So where is she dropping to? Oh, she's getting shredded. Oh, yeah. Freddy's the fucking diving board. Oh, we kind of get these like a little, uh, would you call it like gothic sound cues, concrete, oh, where is she to now, oh, she's in Freddy's bubbling boiling room, let's, r let's rock and roll, Yeah, so she's getting fucking cooked. She's all cooked. Yeah, she's obviously going to resurface here, isn't she? Oh, there he is. Oh, my God, Freddy. 
The dialogue for Freddy is just awful. I thought I just speak in fucking catchphrases. That ain't gonna work. She clearly and early and seen part three. Freddy's fucking invincible, baby. Oh, come back, love, hello. Yeah, I'm not that. Oh, the makeup's a bit off in it on Robert England. I think it's more down to the the way they light Freddy in these films. It's too it's too much light. They really don't use like shadows at all, you know. And, like if you go back to the first film, they were always very clever in regards to how they would like conceal his face, you know, within shadow. So you never clearly saw him, and that just add, added a lot of light. Like, tension and menace so here we go oh yeah he's seeing what's to come premonitions take on me you're in the you're in the book mate you're part of the animation yeah it's everything that's happened so far isn't it oh yeah there he is oh it's getting sucked in here we go. Oh, yeah. Problem with these characters. I mean, this is nothing like part three. Where at least they've got some kind of like power, you know? Or some means to potentially fight Freddy. Oh, black and white. So this is a cool um, juxtaposition between obviously colour on him and then everything else is in black and white. That's just kind of cool. So for like visuals, this is pretty neat. Yeah, I don't mind this sequence at all. Oh, Freddy on his fucking skateboard. Yeah, another 1980s reference. Oh, skateboards are popular, so Freddy's got to reference it. Yeah, hello, love. Slice and dice. Yeah, see. Freddy don't give two fucking shits, does he? Crashing the entire set. As you do. So we can't hope this guy's going to fight back in any way. He's just... He's waiting for it, isn't he, basically? Look up, you dickhead. Oh. Oh, yeah, Freddy. You're so caring, son. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're crazy. Catch race, King. Come on then. Some fisty cuffs. Oh yeah, as I called it. So this is his uh, superpower, superhero. So he's a futuristic gunslinger. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. Freddy's just playing the game. Freddy's like, oh, how creative. Is it my turn? Don't never approach Freddy thinking he's fucking dead. Yeah, he's... Ah, uh, yeah. Fucking... Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Freddy's gone full. Fucking John Wayne. Oh, yeah. It's the last saloon and I'm the sheriff of fucking, fucking, fucking Nottingham. Super Freddy. Oh, yeah. So. Dead. Yeah. Just shredding the paper. He's a fucking paper mache human. So. 
Oh, Freddy's fucking... He's fucking drugged. He's coked out of his fucking mind here, Freddy. So in terms of, like, creative kills throughout the entire franchise, I mean, that one's probably got to be up there. Uh, that's pretty neat. Not too bad. Oh, you're all by yourself now, Alice. It's better that way, though. Were these fucking redundant characters ever going to fucking help you? I thought she was fucking dead. Oh, oh well. Drag it out a bit longer. It's a miracle was a guy's fucking dead, mate, you twat. Oh, yeah. Fucking Yvonne, I thought you were dead. He's dead. He got taken out in the fucking aha music video, you bitch. Check it out. It's on it's on MTV. It's airing every fucking hour. So the key's Amanda. You've got to find her murder spot, resting spot, whatever you want to call it. So the key's the tower. Yeah, father's taken Alice off. We can't trust this, is it Yvonne, to suddenly become important within the fucking storyline. What the fuck? What's Yvonne's fucking skill set in this movie? Fucking garbage. This doesn't even look like a real location. So we're to... Assume this is a real fucking place. This gothic fucking cathedral. It's a fucking matte painting. It's not real. So it's all supposed to be abandoned. Great. They're trying to do something with the music here. Okay. It's not awful. It's just trying, isn't it? It's trying and failing. That's the problem with this film. Alright, Alice. Dreamscapes. That's a cool visual. So this is okay. So connecting them within the same space. One is awake and one is dreaming. Okay. So this could get a bit better. In terms of like cross cutting. It's trying to call Freddy's bluff here. So that's the staircase in it that was bathed in yellow. So we're seeing this as a real locale. Oh yeah, Alice is Alice, you look so pissed, love. So what's behind the wall, if anything? Or oh, the walled in wall? So am I right in saying there's obviously some sealed off area that they need to find? Oh, this must be it then. It's what's behind the wall. And am I right in saying if, if Vaughn breaks through it within reality, Alice will also perceive it within the dreamscape? Yeah... Oh. 
Freddy. He's having a look. So Freddy's Freddy's cutting in and out. What the fuck? Freddy's taking his sweet ass time. Why does he keep flat? Freddy, Freddy's fucking flashing. So some weird shit is happening to Freddy here. Yeah? Oh, this is how you were conceived, Freddy. Oh no. Alice is wheeling the pram at him. Oh, Freddy's impaled. Game on. Ding ding, round one. Oh, take a tumble, Freddy. Oh, taste. Oh, Freddy, you look fucking terrified, mate. What happened, son? Oh, Freddy's getting molested. Oh, yeah, a taste of your medicine. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I love it. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> Very nice. Freddy's getting fucking shredded. Oh, he's getting ripped apart. Oh, I've got Freddy's arm. Aren't I a fucking dickhead? Oh, I fully fucking shredded. Who wants Freddy's fucking leg? Oh, yeah. Freddy's like fucking Dracula. He's remorphing. He's mighty morphing. Fucking hell, man. This is stupid, baby. Spiders. What have spiders got to do with Freddy fucking Krueger? Oh, yeah. Freddy's late. Oh, hello, Jacob. I'm your real fucking father. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Alice. God, too many catchphrases, baby. So he's got his claws into Jacob. So we got a game on here. Mommy! Who's this, this shredded man? He's a bit fucking strange. So they're going for the uh, surrealist staircase look, isn't it? A bit, uh, you're thinking like David Bowie in Labyrinth. So this is a complete fucking steal from Labyrinth. Fuck me, man. Look. You could do a shot, shot for shot comparison here. A cut, cut from Freddy to David Bowie. It's a Goblin King, isn't it? Dickhead Dan's back. Your real dad. So visually, this is. It looks pretty cool, but it, it it's it's basically been stolen from another movie. What's the problem with these fucking Elm Street sequels? Constantly referencing other things, you know. Never confident enough to do their own thing. So Dan's Freddy. Freddy's Dan. So Freddy's pulling out. He's pulling out all the stops, isn't he, to get to Jacob? Okay. So visually, interesting set this. I can't fault the visuals throughout. I think they're okay. You know, they're at least a tr you can see some of the budget on screen. It's just the real issues are with the fucking screenplay, you know. Yeah. They're just not realising this stuff in a cohesive, effective way. To, like, sustain itself as hashtag a proper horror movie, you know. Oh, yeah. It's a labyrinth of staircases. So, what the fuck? So, Alice is what? Becoming Freddy? What the fuck is going on here? It's Freddy slash Alice. They are one. I'm lost. Did I? So sh I have no idea what's happening here. Oh, yeah. 
I'm not entirely sure if she's dead. It's up to it's down to Jacob's gotta do something here. Yeah, so they are basically Oh, I don't fucking Oh right. Yvonne who we thought was awake must be dreaming now if she's perceiving Amanda Kruger. Come on, let's resolve this nightmare of a movie. I bet it's Freddy. He loves dressing up as women. Look, it's got to be Freddy. Oh, it's a corpse. Oh, yeah. Oh, resolution. Fuck me. That's all right. We can all go home now. Great. Fuck, is that it? Oh, so what? Amanda's going to kick Freddy's ass? Freddy is like halfway through fucking Alice. This is some full-on body horror. God, I've put a lot of pressure on fucking Jacob. He ain't fucking born yet. Oh... Oh, Freddy, come on. The problem with this is Freddy's almost as dumb as the rest of them, isn't he? He's falling for this fucking... Jacob's little fucking speech. Kick him in the balls. School's out, Kruger. Oh, yeah. Oh, Freddy's like, oh, no. Oh, so Freddy is getting... What is happening? Freddy's gone full fucking Hellraiser here, guys. Oh, he's spinning. He's got tentacles. He's flying through the air. Oh, yeah, he's skidding over the expensive set. Ah, oh, Freddy's dancing like a dickhead. Ah, everyone scream. There's nothing more you can do, guys. Just got to scream out loud. Ah, oh, 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 God. All right, this is like, what the fuck? So it's now Freddy as a child. What the fuck? Is it a lot of birth, rebirth, more birth, dodgy births? Oh, we got a child. So is this Jacob? So how the fuck is he? Ah. Oh, Freddy's gone. So we to assume that it never happened. Oh, this is just fucking all over the fucking place. The problem with this sequence, it feels like it's a visual overload. It's an over... It's overlaid and there's two... Oh, she's dead. What? Freddy's not dead. He's fighting his mum. And her mother's breakdancing. Camera's just pulling back. What the fuck? So Jacob's obviously born, right? Yeah, just referring back to that sequence that's just passed. There was just too much happening at once. Too many concepts. You're like, it's a WTF moment. You're like, I can't process this. It's just too much going on. Come on. 
Miss, come on, Robert Shea, give me a cliffhanger ending. I, I want another Elm Street movie. Feed me, Seymour. Yeah, camera's pulling back, you know. There's the pram. Oh, yeah, it's the jump rope. One, two, Freddy's coming back next year for part six. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, fuck me. So now... Oh, we're getting a rap sequence. I'm taking my earphones off. So that fucking end laughter. That's a complete fucking rip-off of Thriller by Michael Jackson. So it wasn't enough just to do... She had the... Take on me, steal. Oh, we will steal something from Frello as well. Yeah, just to make ourselves look relevant. You sometimes think, is this an e- is this even a fucking Nightmare on Elm Street th- film? It's just the sequences of like fucking homages, you know. So, guys, yeah, this is like it's just an awful Elm Street movie, and I I don't know if I'm going to drop it. I did. Excuse me, just give it, my voice is going. So I did score it earlier, 5 out of 10. I mean, I think you got to go, I think 4, 4 out of 10 for me. Because I do think visually there are some interesting moments, but in terms of like the sc- screenplay and like overall concepts, it's all over the fucking place, you know? Yeah, you really need really needed streamlining. Somebody just to go through the screenplay and go, look, we need to um, just tighten the whole thing up, you know. So just winding down. Yeah, I'm glad I've taken my earphones off because I can literally hear whatever this this fucking rap song. Is. What the fuck, man. It's the Nightmare on Street rap, yeah. Get your chlorine. Get your fucking chlorine in your system. Part six then. Next one on the list. Yeah, I'll be getting to it very soon, guys. I'm still enjoying this series. I mean, one plus point being we're building towards a new nightmare, aren't we? And, you know, that's one of the stronger entries in the series because I'll obviously Wes Craven returning yes I feel like it it gets back on track there and also it's um Wes Craven sort of reinventing Freddy doing something a little bit different yeah I've got a lot of time for New Nightmare I'm really looking forward to getting to that one oh we got some second unit credits yeah third unit i'll just continue to talk nonsense as we wind this down yeah so anybody who say if this is the first commentary you've listened obviously i have covered the previous movies guys it's all interlinked in this video i mean if you have enjoyed this commentary however awful i know the film's terrible maybe my commentary is terrible who knows um yeah give me a thumbs up thumbs down it's all good um yeah consider subscribing to my channel if you like to uh you know torment yourself i do like to torture people nah it's all good guys um now we're on to the crew credits womb with a view fetal canal what the fuck me there was an actual crew for that one uh, diving board phantom prowler sequence fucking hell they've individually hired people for all the different sequences no wonder this film's a fucking derailed fucking train wreck you know special thanks to great Original Nightmare theme by Charles Bernstein. Yeah. Bring your daughter to the slaughter. Savage. Samantha Fox. Living in the jungle. Word up, Doc. 
fucking hell. Yeah, just a few too many um, cultural references for me in this movie, you know? It's just... Uh, it's a bit overkill. So, guys, yeah, winding down the commentary. Yeah, thanks for listening. If you're still listening up to this point, I salute you. This is me, John Doe, signing off. And, guys, don't have nightmares. Sleep tight.